Hello and welcome to Block One Productions. My name is Soma and I am with Glitch the Husky. One of my favorite brands for their functions, aesthetics and creative design is Make Noise by the amazing Tony Rolando. Sadly, their modules are not in PCB Rack. For the past week or so, YouTube has been recommending videos about O Control, O Ghost and Strega, and I have been fascinated by them. So much so that I decided to recreate the O Control side of PCB Rack. Here is the final result. This is the interactive part of it, and here is the logic part of it. They are separated thanks to the amazing teleport by Little Utils. This is probably my biggest and most complicated build to date, but it has been so much fun. To hear what this build can do, we are going to be using the following. I have fence to constrain the pitch to an octave, a quantizer to snap it to a scale, BCO by Boga Audio to produce four waves. Switch 8 1 to select one or more of those waves, two ADSRs, one filter, and one distortion module. I will connect the pitch output to fence, the main gate output to one size, and the strength envelope output to the other size. The O control is a step sequencer with three groups of steps called pitch, strength, and time. It has CV outputs for each of those parameters as well as a dynamic envelope output that basically takes the gate and changes its sustain and release. The pitch output also has individual outputs per step, so you can use any step to control a specific parameter in other modules. It also has a gate output that is mixed with another dynamic envelope, so you can have square gates or envelopes with a more interesting shape. One of my favorite functions, and the main thing that motivated me to recreate it, is the time section. You can change the parameters on this section and it will alter the length of the gate, effectively changing the tempo or the subdivision for, this, for that step specifically. It is a good time to mention that I created two versions of the O control. One with an LFO that is more closely related to the original, in the sense that you can attenuate the amount that the time section affects the clock, and because it is not quantized, meaning that you can increase or decrease as much as you want the time. It may or may not be in time with your sequence, but that's half the fun. On the other hand, I have a quantized version of the O control that has the basic clock and it can be multiplied or divided by 2, 4 and 8. This creates a much more musical sequence but with less possibilities. Use the one you prefer. Another of my favorite things about make noise modules are these pressure buttons. They have a really interesting pattern and they are quite useful. In reality they don't sense pressure. They detect how much of your finger is touching the sensor but it gives the same effect. A CV that you can use to control any parameters. In my version, since VCV doesn't have pressure buttons, I use VCAs to send a signal. In this case I'm using it to control the gain amount of Bakumba. It is also tied to a certain step, that's why there are 8 buttons. If you activate one, O control goes directly to the step and repeats it until you deactivate it. This works even if the clock is stopped. In the first version of this patch I use buttons, like this one, but this way you can have the trigger and the mount, the best of both worlds. In the O control you can have the pressure signal without having to repeat the steps. Using these buttons you can have that behavior. The other thing that I really loved about your control is that you can select the direction, forward, backwards and random. 
I added a random forward backwards direction, meaning that the next step will go to the one directly on the front or on the back at random. One final thing that I would like to note is that everything is color coded. Aside from the usual colors of my cables, you can download the preset and patch storage. Pitch, strength and time are also color coded to match the other outputs, like the pitch sequencer and the individual pitch outputs. And if you want some more fun, these blanks by Geodesics and Bong Audio have fun easter eggs. The Geodesic blank acts as a noise generator with an integrated clock and Bong Audio can change the color with CV input. Now let's see it in action. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Follow me on social networks and join my Discord.